People seem to mark us there if you can there, but I'll, I'll no more attention on the childlike behavior from the other side. Keep in mind, it's getting close to 90 degrees and they're wearing black shirts out there. Real, real geniuses, you know. You on, you betcha, I think so. Mark is Edward, this is speaking, guys. He's on Facebook. Mark, I had a Eugene. A strong Christian, conservative. We're listening to one right now. <laughs> At least the one speaking right now. Saying Black Lives Matter when there's a black guy speaking for real intelligence. <laughs> Like, share. Let's get the one forward. silliness over here for you. Blah, 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 blah. That's all I hear when I listen to Antifa and BLM. trying to have a conversation there in the red there and they just want to insult him patriots are ready just in case things get crazy
Yeah, I saw that Mary too. <laughs> This is G-rated over here. This is close to PG-13 or R-rated over here. Just so you guys know to watch it. Make sure your kids know the difference. So if you guys want to keep in contact with me, if you guys want to join the fight, be on the front line right there alongside us. You say PG-13 or R? The language is getting close to R, I think. The racism of the BLM is close to R rating too, I would think. Thanks for the likes and the shares, guys. I appreciate that. This guy's not BLM right here now. Or he's calling them bullies. Very bad bullies, but yeah, they are bullies on the other side. Silly behavior over here, guys. What we're doing is kind of talking about the issues, and all they want to do is yell and complain and talk about how stupid they are. I guess things that their Antifa and BLM are doing over there. Like, hey. well, we're kind of wait. Oh, is that who I just see? I saw Joey somewhere. Yes, it is, Verena. Very true, very true. Yeah, Wendy. Yeah. Anybody, the people on the other side of the street over there, for those that are just following, BLM, Antifa, the ones on this side here, Patriots right here, and everybody over here, at, we'll call them the heavy duty Patriots out here, people over here. They're kind of your moms and pops, basically patriots, Republicans, Trump supporters, kind of regular people that kind of are over here. Marcus Edwards on Facebook, guys. Go ahead and give him a follow. <laughs> Yeah. 
bike riders in the back. A lot of the, oh, the bike riders here? Yeah, those will be probably guys that are on that front line right there. Usually, I'd like to see more bike riders out there. Woo! True, William, true. Okay, guys, let's get a little bit crazy. Drop your glasses, idiot. Let me grab his glasses. Let me grab his glasses. Notice how they can't talk without cussing, you know? Every other word out of their mouth is an F bomb. I'm like, if you want to have a conversation, yeah. <laughs> have a conversation. Don't cuss every other word. I know. Oh, did it go back? No, no. Some of us might use a retaliatory F bomb, but not many. Ducks. <laughs> There's Mr. Sugar himself there. Too close. The more of us go over there, the more they get agitated, the things get bad, but let Marcus do his thing there. What's Mark? Try to get Marcus get this conversation there for him again. The road right here too, so I don't want to get involved. 
They're doing what they normally do for a job, you know, right now, so yeah, at least they're laboring. You gotta get me some of that George Soros money, man. Exactly, exactly. You gotta make Joey coming yet? Still waiting on Joey Gibson to show up. If you think they're violent now, wait till Joey gets here. <laughs> about 30, 10 minutes out or something like that. And keep in mind, Antifa knows what his car looks like too, so it might be 15 minutes out. That triggers them. <laughs> BLM's favorite guy, or at Divas, <laughs> Joey. He, might, he came from Washington, too. Don't everybody leave that line. Although keep in mind we do have this area until like three or four o'clock, so 
They're not supposed to cross that line, basically. We need a permit for it. Gibson, though, over there speaking. Okay, but there's so much stuff going on. 
I have to remind myself to let me, I want to say this, I do believe the president... Thanks for chatting, guys. Thanks for chatting. Keep the chat going. Keep it civil. In the last two years. Okay, taking all the hatred, okay? And he's held strong. I want to, I want to personally thank President Trump for what he did for Jake Danielson and the way that he stood up with him, regardless of the political consequences. Okay, so thank you, President Trump. Thank you. Woo! Say his name, guys. Say his name. Jay. Jay Bishop. What's the story about Shane, though? Somebody just knows about a Shane story? What's that about? Mark is trying to red pill some crazies out there. Hopefully. Marcus Edwards on Facebook. God bless you. As soon as we take off, those guys are going to cut across here and steal that on him. We don't want to guarantee it. I know, I know. put it somewhere, but that's the only one still here.
available. That's out. There it goes. <laughs> a little bit more of this behavior here, I'm not sure why we leave anything behind right now. So you clear out there, gonna go to the steps, you know that. I don't know what basic laws are lately. So we have that place permitted till like 5 o'clock. Capital yeah, steps right there. Crazy behavior of the Antifa guys over here. Yeah. Yeah. High behavior over here. Marcus is still doing his thing over there. Yeah, let's get some em emojis to describe what I'm looking at, guys. Give me some emojis to be sending them to what I'm looking at over here, guys. I would imagine some poops and some thumbs down kind of stuff that might pop up. Is that what you're seeing? Junior high behavior right here. Or, or is it, do you have any clown emojis out there in this something like that? Clown gifts? Junior high, wow. I think she was one of the moms or whatever. <laughs> Look up the word fascist in the dictionary, people. Of course, you'll see a picture of yourselves in there. Junior hires, junior hires. No shit, lady. Don't you say that. Hey, you ain't Army mom, right? When's Army's birthday? Oh, this guy's awesome. I'm, I'm wondering, when's Army's birthday? Latinos for Trump, right? Back to blue! Back to blue! Back to blue! Back to blue. Great. <laughs> you right by like, what did I run into? <laughs> this Marcus is still having a conversation over there, that's cool. Trying to anyway. Masket or casket? Let's see. Interesting, interesting. Let's see if we can zoom in on this. Well, thank you. Show me any more emojis for what you're looking at here. Crazy, silly behavior of Antifa weirdos. I just got a phone call. There you go, thank you. Make sure you post that. This is an actual picture, though. It was over there. Can I take a picture of us real quick? Can you take a picture of us? Hey Mandy, how you doing? What should I do? March with the Jennifer. Patriots there? Or stand with the Patriots over here? 
Decisions, decisions. Aerial knee here, guys. A lot of you guys want to see more of that stuff, but I need to follow the other Patriots over here, so I'll probably lose 50 followers for following Patriots, but let's see if they run into any trouble over here. Quick, just to see what you saw there. No, we're good. One little march here. Also, I sort of see my chance my tires got deflated by some dogs and idiots. These guys. Oh, I can't get a ride. <laughs> Patriots there. Curious what it's gonna look like on when we get back there. We make a silly chance at the capital steps, I'm sure. You guys having a good chat in there? Hope you guys are. Feel free to like, comment, follow if you need to. Sarah, thank you. It's <laughs> kind of my point here. Like, yeah, the Antifa people, they don't really matter. Most of them won't even vote, or even if they were voting age. But, uh, you yeah. know, most people here definitely register to vote. So, American Hot Voting Lives Matter, right? Or we voting lives. There's one of our awesome cops right there. We got our back just in case we get a little bit of a follow here. I don't think it won't be much of a follow, but. Ha <laughs> ha 
Divide everybody by putting three words up there that everybody agrees on. Exactly. Screw that. I mean, <laughs> man, I don't want to live in a socialist state. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. Obviously, it's America. Where any person of color gets the job and white folks, yeah. you know what I mean? White folks are now the serfs to the people of color now. I know. You get rid of the firm of the action. That's the problem. Yeah, well, we're just thinking yeah, the same thing. Like, how are they oppressed with, or people oppressed when they have so well, certain advantages they yeah. really have these well, days anyway. And the thing is, it's like, realistically, the whole system's jacked up, right? Yep. The, the whole system's jacked up. Like, the, the cost of living is higher than it's ever been, and our dollar bill is worth less than it ever has been. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And because of that, we have we have this uh, disparity between the rich and the poor that's greater now than it's ever been. Yep. So I get, like, something's got to be done. But, you know, breaking stuff in the streets and the hurting people, that's not the solution. All that does is lower people's economic capabilities, you know? Yeah. Hey, thank you, God! Back to blue! Back to blue! Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, man. Patriots up here. Exercise. That thing's awesome. It keeps the it's, I know. You saw, last time we were in Salem, you saw Boot Troop he, or whatever. He has one like this, but I was thinking about getting the, the upgraded version that has like a magnet or whatever attached to it. You just pop it on. That's awesome. That's cool. That's awesome. Did you get my speech on there? Huh? I, I did, I did. Hey, awesome. Follow me on Old Me and Mr. Bill if you would. Yeah, I will. Hey guys, I already told you guys who Marcus was. You just saw a nice little speech there. Didn't get it. The message out. Yeah, yeah, hey. <laughs> God yeah. bless the USA. God bless you guys. There we go. Y'all be safe out there. Yeah, you bet. Time we stand up before this new world order hit. Definitely. It's already here, basically. Exactly. So we got 400 on there? Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you, Blue. Got our backs. Speaking of our backs. I have a challenge to Antifa do a fist fight. Oh, you did over there? That's why I did my fist. Ha <laughs> ha! 
stream and drive at the same time and I had two or three SJWs in front of me as I'm driving, you know, stopping right there. I go around one, try to get back in, in front of him. Trump supporter in front of him, slammed on his brakes. You know, right into that guy. Craziness. I just don't want people going to Portland without the full back Exactly, exactly, you know. Like, you always came that Yeah, I don't know who's planning these events because, like, it needs to be more organized. Yeah, you know, like, have one event for the day, not half of us go to Portland, half of us go to Salem. Bring all the groups, at least quite a bit of the groups together. Or we went to Trump, or Yeah. for Trump, David does, you know? Yeah. There's some other groups that are starting out there too. A guy named Himbu who was down in Eugene area. Yeah, in your area. Yeah, I mean, starting. Or, USA! How do I follow you? USA! Facebook? USA! Only a Mr. Bill. USA! Only a Mr. Bill. Only a Mr. Bill, technically, but I think it'll still find out. Only a Mr. Bill. USA! 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 You guys liking this, guys? Think, like if you're Mexican, you gotta think a certain way. Uh, it's the same with me. Do you follow Boot Troop sometimes? Like I said the other day? Yeah, I watch every. I watch his live stream as well. Whenever I see him using the Atlantic or you know NPR as his news source, I'm like, seriously? Come on. You call yourself an independent journalist, be independent, you know? Yeah. What up, brother? Going. Oh, the flag, guys. Marching, marching, marching. Yeah. All these stores closing around here because of a silly COVID situation, you know? Can't go into a store, so people lose jobs, businesses lose money, all because they're trying to get rid of the president. Hey, Marcus, what other reason why you think they're starting to try to push the COVID thing besides, I think it's mainly because of Trump and things like that, but is there any other reason you can think that they're trying to push the COVID stuff? Well, I mean, this COVID thing, it's ultimately the last power grab, right? So it's them coming in with their uh, Orwellian dictator laws and they're saying hey we're going to shut down all the small local mom and pop businesses and we're going to create that we're going to keep our big corporations open so basically it, it, it's a i want to say it's a step toward their, their socialist world order it's basically shut down the free market economy and, and build it in our own image so we're, we're the ones making all the money we're the ones control of everything and then they'll use the fear of covid to push the mark of the beast, as described in the Bible, that no man may be able to buy or sell without the mark in his right hand or in his forehead. And the mask that they're having us wear is to condition us to take the mark of the beast. And people say, oh, it's just a mask, but it, it very is a, a satanic attack on the American people, on the people of the world, really. It's coming. It's yep, coming. Yep, yep. Um, Do you think Donald Trump, I know, has any sort of relation to the, the prophecy? You know, I know he's not the Antichrist, but yeah, yeah, yeah. you think he sort of comes into play there, you think? Well, I think God is and has used Donald Trump to put things on pause. So 
after Donald Trump got elected, you know, they say that Hillary would have been the end of their 100-year plan and that Hillary would have brought the New World Order in in full. Well, since we got Donald Trump, he put all that on pause, and that is why the media is demonizing him. Yeah, they have to demonize him any way they can. But the, the left is mad that the, the power is not in their favor. So when it goes from the right and swings back to the left, and once these Democrats get power again, we will not recognize America. America will be gone forever. And they will use COVID as the, um, the foundation of that, essentially. Yep. of their new world order and it's already here you know what i mean yep. but trump uh trump's just fighting for the american people but he will not stop god's prophecy no i i think they'll end up killing donald trump or something i hope to god not yep. i hope to god not but yeah exactly they want it dead yeah. Yeah. Uh, some sort of prophecy some guy said on august 27th he'd be killed or whatever yeah like that but you know what <laughs> and they said they said we we didn't get rid of kate brown by one percent I don't really? believe that for a second. Uh, there's, the there's, there's no way. Those numbers and everything, no, the signatures. They're, they're lying. I'm kind of right? curious if our, we had our people there watching them as the as Secretary of State was yeah. counting, they're, like, okay. Yeah. No, you. They probably just tossed out each, you know, like oh. every other signature. They just like, tossed it out. Exactly. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Where they had sticky fingers or two pages or yeah. one page, you know? Yeah, exactly. exactly. It's crazy. Let's you. Marcus Edwards on Facebook, guys. USA, USA. Did you have a good conversation with your friend over there, Antifa guys? Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's a challenge. I know. What was that one lady's problem that had the vest on? She was talking about the vest. Yeah. God bless you. I'll tell you what, Marcus has got some Yeah, he does. Who went right out at him? I figure, shit, if he's going, I'm going. How you doing? I saw you This is more entertaining than the Antifa show back there, isn't it, guys? Uh, you ought to hear that one song at least one time when you go. Do a march and see an American flag. I sometimes do American flag things, flag waves on my own sometimes, and I'll have that song go by. I'm like, Trump is not on the flag. It's an American flag. Why are you? Well, they burn the American flag. Uh, yeah, exactly. So why not? Did you hear about that one guy who made fireproof flags out of Kevlar? Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's a great way to do it. I hate people who do that. ridiculous? I know it's. It's not like, against the law, but it's like the most disrespectful it thing. It should be against the law. Like they want more freedom for everybody, but they burn the symbol of that freedom. I'm like, what the hell? Thank you. Thank you. But he's black. Thank you, sir. And they were yelling at him, saying, Trump like, 2020. Yep. Saying, like, Trump is racist, you're racist, and he's, like, black. And then he's like, is this movie about me? Like, uh, exactly. Oh, oh, yeah, exactly. They were saying BLM. But they only, they, black lives only matter if they're Democrat black lives. The Democrat black lives. The Democrat or, part is silent. And, and, and they're even more important if they're a, a criminal that gets attacked by police, you know. It kind of, well, it's kind of, it goes on a certain these, ladder, you know. Like, yeah, in some cases, the people shouldn't have been yeah. killed. But Do you mind if I interview you? Yeah. Oh, okay. um, but I've done my research because, you know, I think that people shouldn't be killed. Like, if they're not doing anything to harm the police, you know, they yep. should be rightfully arrested. But 
because a lot of these people, I forgot his name, but one of them said he was, they were trying to arrest him because he had just raped someone. Yeah, yeah, the and last then, guy, yeah, yeah. And then he resisted arrest, they tased him, it didn't work. Exactly, yeah. And then he, he, he ran away to get a gun from his car, he reached into his car, that's when he got shot. Exactly. It's like, like they, but the liver me doesn't tell you about that. And not to mention, and he, he, you don't know what the guy was going to do. He had his kids yeah. in his car, you know, he might have yeah. done something as crazy as, you know, threatened the life yeah. of his kid, like, don't shoot me or I'm going to... Yes, and it's not like these people, like, like Brianna Taylor, they make her out to be like... A saint, yeah. Well, well, I mean, it sucks that she was a casualty, but her yeah. boyfriend was a drug dealer. The SWAT went in, they yeah. pulled a gun on the SWAT, shot an officer. Yeah. They had to defend so, themselves. Yeah. I mean, it's not like, but the liberal media paints it as like, oh, they, they're they like, oh, black, a black person lives here, let's go shoot them. So, uh, I know, I know. That's that, what they paint it as. The it's, narrative is... The story. I mean, should that have happened? Probably not. Yeah. But it's like, there's way more than to the story, but they just try to get people angry, and then they got the mob on their side. Exactly. And bit. with Kyle, Wittenhouse or Wittenhouse, Wittenhouse yeah. they, they make it... <laughs> They make it sound like he went there to went there to just like kill protesters. Yeah. No, he he received a call from I guess his friend or like someone he knew who had a business. Yeah. And he was like, hey, can you come defend what little property I have left? Like they've already tried to destroy this as my livelihood. Yeah. Can you like and your friends can help us? So him and his friends brought their guns. He brought a first aid kit because he knew there would be injured protesters. That's what they don't tell you. Yep. He didn't. He didn't go there with the intent to kill people. He went there with the intent to defend private property, which is entirely within your rights. Exactly. And you should be doing that. Exactly. Yeah. And what happened was he was defending private property. They came and attacked him. And in the video, you see him running away. He falls down on the ground. They're almost on top of him. That's when he shoots. Exactly. I would have done the same thing. And, and what I love most is. In his case, he after he did the shooting, he went to the police, hands up, say, this is what I did, you know, I had to yeah. do it, and things like that. Whereas with the guy who killed Jay Bishop, Joy's friend, you know, after he did what he did, what did he do the next? He didn't turn himself in. He went to talk to the, a liberal news outlet. Well, and there was another, there was another guy who liberals were defending, and Stephen Crowder has a video on this. They're making shrines to him and oh, yeah? everything. Um, he was rioting with an AK-47, and he oh, the, the the car in the middle of the road, yeah, oh, yeah, and he the pointed name, yeah. it at the guy's head. The guy happened to be, that they stopped, happened to be concealed carrying, so he shot him. If you had a gun pointed at your head, you're, would you not Exactly, that? I'm like, you're right there, and you're going to stop my car? It's not like... Two plus two... I just it's... have a real problem with them not telling the whole story on these things. I know. Because it's like, people are so brainwashed and they don't like to look up things for themselves and it's so hard these days because you have to do like you have to dig a lot to find the real truth exactly I mean, don't use google use that dot dot go i'm not saying it, well, dot, dot, go. I, you find it from multiple different sources Exa too, yeah, yep. um preferably unbiased oh, God, yeah. um yep. but it's like I mean, if I heard all these things, like, oh, cops are just like, oh, kill black people, like, oh, I if I didn't Oregon have a brain, brain, I'd be pissed off, too. All, all, I were I were headlines headlines yeah, all I read were headlines or whatever, yeah. if all I read were the headlines, I'd be pissed off, too. But it's <laughs> exactly. Like, but if you read down in the story or whatever, yeah. most of those stories at the, also, at the very end, you'll notice, yeah. like, okay, our headline was not true. This yeah. is what really happened, you know? And That's like, what I love to see. If you want a peaceful protest, I'm all for that. Yeah. Originally, I was for it, you know, when it was just like about George Floyd, like he was not the best guy, but yeah. I mean, he shouldn't have died. Exactly. But it, it's like I was for the peaceful protesting. It's when it turned into rioting, that's when I had a problem. I know, I know. It's... Because, and people called me racist because I would, I would talk about it on my social media and they would call me racist. They'd be like, oh, <laughs> you care more about businesses than you do black people. I love it's that like, line, okay, yeah. A lot of the businesses are owned by the black people or cool. the people of color. Yep. And it's like, you can't just, you can't just people who didn't have any kids. Yeah, exactly. And that's not how this works. Very true. And people going to cops' houses, cops on fire, shooting cars on the street. I saw a video of a cop that got like a brick or something thrown at him. Yeah, yeah. He's on the ground. Yeah, protecting it's, not a, it's, yeah. it's not a life in modern day America. That's okay, not buddy. how this works. 
Give me a little heat, but that's all right. <laughs> like, like if a black person went and killed, yeah. if a black person went and killed, life, like, I can tolerate it. a cop sort or something, of. like, you wouldn't see all the cops go and be like, oh, like, just because one cop got killed by a black person, now we're, now all black people are bad. We're going to yeah. go, like, riot in the streets. And it's like, no. Yeah. And it's not even black people doing most of these riots. It's the, the white, white liberals. Antifa. Like, we have more people of color here than Antifa has. I, I know, I know. I think that's hilarious. I think, what do you think part of that reason might be that, you know, the a lot of white liberals, you know, they, they still feel bad about themselves, so they're sort of... Well, I think supporting. real white privilege, they want to talk about white privilege, I think yep. real, real white privilege comes from saying, defund the police. Because if you, like Kimberly Crossley went in Baltimore, if they wanted to defund the police, the people who like want to defund the police are the people who want to defund the police come from really high class neighborhoods where crime is not really an issue. But if you live in poverty, and not necessarily just black people, but like, if you live in poverty or in bad cities where the police are the only thing keeping a gang from killing you in the streets, then yep. you don't want to defund the police. Exactly. So I think that's real. If you want to talk about privilege, I yeah. think that's real privilege is saying defund the police. Anyway, it's kind of yeah. silly that black businesses have to put that their their black owned business on their storefronts or something like just that. So they won't get looted and attacked and things yeah. like that. Well I think it's that sad. I think it's like that kid, Cannon, it's really Cannon sad that like people don't they're so like blind it's like you go 